Hello and welcome to this 5 Minutes to Wow video. My name is Mitchell Pearson. I'm a consultant and a trainer for Pragmatic Works. And in this quick video, I want to show you how you can organize measures in Power BI Desktop. Unlike SSAS Tabular or SSAS Multidimensional, we don't have folders available for us that allow us to quickly organize those different measures. And what happens as you continually build more and more calculated measures in Power BI Desktop is they kind of get slammed and squished in there with all the other columns that exist inside of your table. So even though we don't have folders available to us, we do have the availability to create calculated tables. And remember, one of the key elements about calculated measures is we can assign them to any table that we want within our data model. So that's typically how I address this problem, is I create some extra calculated tables within my model, and then I organize my measures by assigning them to those tables. So I'm gonna walk you through here real quick how we can address that issue in Power BI Desktop. All right, so I have a basic Power BI Desktop model here. And what I wanna do is if I look into my cell table and we scroll down a little bit, you'll see that down here I have one measure that's kind of stuck in the middle of all these other columns here. And I wanna organize all the measures that I create so that whenever I need to look for a measure, I can just go to kind of a folder structure system here that actually has those measures defined for me. So on my modeling tab, I can go over here and click on new table. And then what I wanna do here is give the table a name and I'm gonna call this my measures. It's a very simple name on the table here. And then I'm just going to create a table. And there's a, a lot of different ways you can create a table. The way that I normally do this is I just use the calendar function. And the reason I like to use the calendar function is because it creates a table that essentially has one column and one row. So I'm gonna give it a start date of 112000. I'll give it an end date of 112000. And then close that out and then hit enter. And so now I've created a table inside of my data model. And this table here simply has, let's go ahead and click on it, simply has one column with one row. And now what I can do is I can assign my measures to this table. If you've, ever, if you've never actually assigned your measures to another table, that's very easy to do. So what I wanna do is go back to my cell table. I'm going to select that total profit measure that I showed you a moment ago. And then I'm gonna go back up to the modeling tab inside of Power BI Desktop. And we're going to move that total profit measure over to that new table that we just created. So I can select the home table here on the modeling tab once again select the home table and say, I wanna move that measure from the cell table over to the new table I just created. That's called my measures. So I click on that and now it has been moved to a new table. Now there's one other problem here that we wanna fix real quick. If I come over here inside of my report view and I look at that table, notice that I have my measure and I can assign as many measures to this table now as I want, but I also have this kind of orphaned column here that has no purpose and I wanna get rid of that. So all I have to do is right click on that and then say I wanna hide that column and it disappears in the report view. Now I will tell you that one limitation of this is it will not let you hide that column until after you've added something else to that table. So I needed to add a measure to it first and then I could go through there and hide that column. Now anytime I wanna see my total profit, I can come to this new measure table that I've created and I can bring it in from that table. And you may wanna create multiple tables, one that just has all of your measures in it, and then another one that essentially maybe stores time intelligence calculations and so on and so forth. But this is the way that I have been using Power BI Desktop to organize my measures, since we don't have that additional functionality of having a folder to actually organize them. All right, so as a quick review, in this section, we talked about the problem. The problem was I can't organize my measures in Power BI Desktop, and I'm tired of digging through hundreds of columns trying to find these different measures. And then the design that we used here is we create tables specifically designed for storing those different calculated measures that we have built inside of our data model. And then the solution was to take our calculated measures and then add them to those new tables that we created so that we could organize them. If you're interested in more Power BI training, you can save 10% on any training pack that we offer by using Power BI Wow. And you can go to pragmaticworks.com and check out our on-demand training there. Thank you.